everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us over the next 48 hours as we see, do, and eat as much as we can in San Diego. Let's go. Hello and welcome to San Diego. We are staying here for two nights in the gas lamp quarter at Margaritaville. Yeah, and the theming here is so cool. Very already. cool. <laughs> yeah, the room itself is already awesome. Very excited for this. It was about $350 a night, but we're in the heart of San Diego. In the downtown area, and it's a weekend, so it's Friday, it Saturday is. night. Friday, Saturday night, so yep. that's where the price is going up. But uh, we actually have a couple things we're planning on doing this weekend, and then we're gonna just eat and drink as much as we possibly can throughout the weekend. But it's about 8 p.m. when we got in, so we're gonna try to grab some dinner and then get some shut-eye because we have a really busy day tomorrow. We do have a busy day tomorrow. Yes, so let's go eat. It might be a little bit loud there. If we can, we'll talk to you. If not, we'll show you lots of pictures. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our first stop here in San Diego was here at La Puerta, which yeah. is supposed to be very famous for its tacos. But I'll tell you what, the carne asada fries were the winner for me. I did hear the carne asada <laughs> fries were supposed to be good, and here in San Diego, You're carne asada to. fries is one of the things we're supposed to eat. Yeah, and it was, they were so tasty. They were super good. Mm -hmm. We ended up getting like six tacos, some queso fundido, <laughs> carne asada fries, way too much stuff. Way too much food. <laughs> and two margaritas, and they were really good. Uh, they spicy were margaritas. Spicy margaritas. It is a little bit pricey. I've heard that the gas lamp district is pricey. Mm. It ran us about 150 bucks after tip. Which I, mean, I would say is comparable to Las Vegas right now. Agreed. Luckily, yeah. we go there a lot, so we're kind of numb to that. <laughs> yeah. But just know that it's it's probably not the cheapest area. But we've got more time because that took us 45 minutes to eat all that and drink. Yeah, and we can't go to bed on that full tummy. No, so <laughs> we need to go get a beer. That's right. All right, so we should probably let you know. We actually have a mission this weekend. <laughs> Yes. Um, amongst other things. We're, we're here for two different plans. You're going to see those tomorrow. But there's five food items that we want to have while we're here in San Diego. The first one we had tonight, carne asada fries. Yes. The next is fish tacos. California burrito. Ceviche. And seafood. Of course. We're going to find some craft beer. Yes. San there Diego is... is known for their craft beer as well. So it's perfect for us. So check one off the list. We got five more to go. <laughs> All right, uh, one block from our hotel is West Brew. We got about an hour, so just enough time to grab a drink. All right, so we found West Beer Marzins, which is like their Oktoberfest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yes. And I'm really digging the logo. I think it has something to do with the surfer. Josh didn't. I didn't get a logo, logo. but I'll say like, if this is what breweries are like in California it's really throwing me off because yeah. it's like a coffee house yeah because this isn't what breweries it's like too in Wyoming fancy and like. nice yeah, it's very fancy it'll There's be some... interesting we're gonna have to go to more yeah we're to, gonna have to find another one to study this <laughs> but I don't know that we'll make it to another tonight though right but I but agree. it's five bucks yeah five dollar pints you can't go wrong with that that's actually a pretty good very deal cool. and we're still in the gas lamp district yep All right, well, we actually have two reasons. Two reasons that we are here this weekend. One of them is a concert that's gonna be later tonight. Yeah, the other is a 10K up in Del Mar, California. We booked the concert and then I told Josh, I haven't ran in California yet, so let's pick a run. So today we're doing a 10K as we get up early this morning. Oh, by the way, Gas Lamp District, the really cool thing about it is it's where all the restaurants, bars, and yeah. nightclubs are. The bad thing about it is it's where all the nightclubs are, and we're not we're not always up as late as the nightclub people. Midnight woke up to some DJ in, and boom, boom, boom. You know Josh's favorite. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, it's right across the street. Yeah. So if you're staying at Margaritaville, just know that. Bring some earplugs. I was. 
Yeah, I was thinking in the middle of the night I would like some earplugs, <laughs> but I was too tired to get up and go get them. <laughs> yeah. Good time to run. That's right. Let's go. So here we are, beautiful Del Mar, California. We we're gonna run a 10k this morning. It's a bit rainy and muddy, and cold and cold. So we're actually going for a 5k. Um, this was not what I imagined California race to be like. Yeah, it's definitely not as beachy and <laughs> sunny as I was expecting. Yeah. All right. I'm shoving a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on my face. Yeah, and we have some non-alcoholic beer. It's actually pretty good though. It is good. Um, we did finish. We're kind of. We probably should have stayed with the 10k. Yeah, um, the trail wasn't as bad as um, it looked. Like what the, we're walking on right now. Uh, yeah. But it was like super muddy to begin with, and it was really cold and wet. Luckily, it did dry out a little bit. Um, it was a but, good race. Yeah, it was fun, and we we ended up finishing right one after another. Yeah, 32nd and 33rd in overall. Yeah. So we'll take that, but we're gonna make our way back to San Diego. So as we wait for our car, check this out. I don't know that I've ever actually seen a snail in the wild. But there he is. But it's a good time to go look at some caves, I think. All right, we took a quick little lift ride, about 15, 20 minutes. We are here in La Jolla at the cave store. Hoping that we can see some sea lions and there's some caves down there. This area is all free so far. I do think there's an area that we have to pay for and we might do it. Where we go down to see the caves. You can see all the waves crashing. Hundred and forty-five steps down, hundred and forty-five steps back up. Yep, hold the handrail. And she's not, but she just told me to do it. Well, I was taking a picture. That's what determines safety. Are you taking a picture or not? All right. If I didn't already say it, it's ten dollars per adult. They do have discounts based on military service and whatnot. It is a low ceiling. I just scrape my head on it. Did you really? Yeah, but I don't have with yeah, she she doesn't have trouble. So if you're five foot tall and less, you're good. I'm five three. Five three. My bad. All right. I think we made it to the bottom. Oh boy. So apparently sometimes there's sea lions in here. Doesn't look like it today. Nope. All right, well, there was no sea lions down here today, but it's a very cool area. It's still very neat to see. Yes, and we're gonna I think we saw some sea lions down the way, so we're gonna try to go see them before we head back to San Diego. We are coming out of the cave store, turning left down the way, and check this out. That is pretty badass right there. Yeah, and I will say, those stairs are a lot steeper <laughs> going up than they were coming down. Yeah, coming up is a lot harder. All right, we are just following the sidewalk, and you can see the crowd of people. That means sea lions are over there. Oh, I hear them barking. Yep, it's easy walk, especially downhill. All right, well, if you don't see any uh, sea lions or seals at the cave, just come to La Jolla Cove. <laughs> Legit, like, quarter mile maybe away from the store. And there are tons of them right here on the beach. We've actually seen them jumping around in the water, too. So cool. All right, well, we are back in San Diego. We just got showered up. Uh, feels, it felt nice to have a nice warm it shower after being rained on. But man, I'm hungry. I am too. Um, I'm impressed. We, we did not overeat after the race. We had a donut and a small donut. They were baby donuts. Baby donuts. Yeah, and a and peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah, um, <laughs> but we're gonna overeat here coming soon. And it's all seafood, so that makes <laughs> it healthy, right? I can't wait. Yeah. I'm so excited for this one. So we are here at Brigantine Oyster and Seafood Bar on the port, which also means on the water. Yes, and this, uh, it looks like there's like nine locations 
around the San Diego area. We haven't seen it elsewhere though. No. So we're gonna check out some more things on our list for, and I think seafood is gonna be one of them. I agree. starting out with a couple margaritas. Only 14 bucks. That's not too bad. No, right? that's not bad at all. Yeah, we'll take a margarita for that. good with that. Um, and then kind of start a couple orders of the baked oysters, the macadamia, or crispy coconut macadamia shrimp. That sounds so good. Sounds super good. And then a recommendation of our waiter is the marinated swordfish grilled. And he didn't recommend it, but we feel like we gotta try it. The classic great fish tacos. I agree. That's one of the things San Diego is known for is fish tacos, so we might as well try them. Yeah. We or try them a couple times while we're here this weekend. <laughs> Alright, the margaritas are here in like record time. <laughs> so it works so fast. This is the passion fruit. This is the cucumber jalapeno. How and mine you? has tahini rim, so I'm gonna try the Yeah. Well, I should say mine. We're sharing them. I'm a sucker for cucumber jalapeno Ooh. though. That passion fruit is so nice and fresh, and I love the tahini rim. You, I can't go wrong ever on a tahini yes. rim. Mm, that's a refreshing margarita. That could go down way too fast. Awesome. <laughs> All right, appetizers are here. So we got, ended up doing two orders of these because it's three, and we can't split an oyster. Come yeah, on now. You can't split an oyster. It's yeah. a silly number. <laughs> so these are baked oysters. They have shallot shoyu butter and a wonton crunch on it. And Rachel's going to squirt I mean, a lemon on it. Again, if you see a lemon, you're supposed to yeah. use it. It's what we've been taught. <laughs> and then here you can see the uh, coconut shrimp. Lots of Look at mango that pineapple. salad. Pineapple. Oh, is it mango salad on it? Ooh, uh, okay. It looks great almost like question. pineapple. It's mango salsa. Okay. Mm. And ponzu sauce. This looks Yum. really good. Yeah. So unfortunately, because of the weather in San Diego today, we had to move outside. Yeah, that patio was so pretty and it was so cool being on the water. Apparently but it's like five days out of the year it has bad weather and we're <laughs> here during it. one of them. <laughs> yeah, but the good news is we get to keep our waiter and that's what yes. I wanted, so and I don't really care. He's super awesome. He and is awesome. They just moved us right inside. And the food is delicious. It's fast and good. Oh man, those oysters, I could have eaten a dozen of them myself. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm, two I'm glad I didn't, but I'm, well, I could have. <laughs> right. All right, so this is the recommendation of our waiter. This is the grilled swordfish with broccolini and risotto. Holy cows, this is a huge portion. I can't believe the size of this. I can't uh, either. What's that on top? Avocado lime butter. Oh my. Yes. So that looks really freaking good. And then... The classic fish tacos, they're both fried. That's an entire filet of fish right there <laughs> on each one. What's on it? Um, it looks like some tomatoes, coleslaw, some kind of crema and cheese. And cheese. And then Pub some chips. kettle chips and coleslaw. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Rachel did move on to uh, her second drink, which is the espresso martini. I don't know, there's got to be like some chocolate and caramel in that. It is super good. Mm -hmm. And that's because my first drink, my passion fruit margarita, went down like a slushy, and it oh, was delicious. It, did it spill? No, it didn't spill. No, it spilled it's right just down my throat. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still working on mine. All right, so the um, rain is still going, and we are afraid to walk too far out there. <laughs> um, but luckily, catch brewing, so we're still doing some craft beer. Craft beer uh, is just very close by so we're gonna grab a beer here as we work our way towards back to the hotel room before our concert tonight. That I hope it's not in the rain. I Let's really hope it's not in the rain. Because we <laughs> did not pack for rain. Might need to buy some garbage bags. All right, catch Kolsch is what I got. I and love the glass. I got a Dr. Billheimer's something. It's a Pilsner. <laughs> but I do want to talk about um, Brigantine Social. I actually thought it was really freaking good. I did too. And the portions amazing. were huge. The value was good. When we compare it to La Puerta from last night, the price was almost the same. It was actually cheaper. It was ten dollars yeah. cheaper. Which we had, um, we had four orders or four food orders at each one, and two drinks last night, three tonight, or three today. Yeah. The scenery is great. I actually expected it to be almost more of a price gouge here. But, I did too, being on the port and whatnot. Yeah, but it was really good value. And so we're going to hopefully wait out this rain. A little bit. And just have a few beers here. <laughs> yeah. We did get some good tips as far as other places to go eat. 
from our waiter. Um, he was very open, and so he gave us a lead on good tacos as well as ceviche. So we're hoping for good stuff to finish yeah. this trip off. <laughs> All right, good news. The weather is getting better. And that's where Catch Brewing was. And we both agree that the beer was better than last night's, but it is a bit Pricier. It's like eight twenty-five a beer, whereas last night was five bucks a beer. All right, on our way back to the uh, hotel. I feel like we gotta see if we can try to get on this, right? USS Midway. It is right off of downtown. Uh, by the way, I do see there's a cafe right there. Wouldn't that be the coolest place to like eat some lunch, grab a coffee? Hopefully, we can do it. All right, here you go. This is the prices. Looks like $34 for an adult, $24 for a youth or a veteran. But 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Last entry is 4 p.m. I think it seems good. Always want to know what it looks like on a aircraft carrier. All right, $68 and we are on board USS Midway. So when you get on board, there is a spot where they'll take your picture you can see some old-timey fake planes, and then there's a free audio tour in a whole bunch of different languages. All right, we're gonna start in the forward loop because we wanna see what the living arrangements are like for these sailors. But I'm turning the dial. I don't think it is real, babe. This is like a baby toy, but for men. <laughs> yes. It's like every grown man's childhood dream right here come true. Get a Maverick. <laughs> in time to watch the movie. Looks like we're going in the back. Wow, this is the uh, medical bay. And here's your ICU over here. This is wild to me. Only could accommodate one patient. I believe it. Yeah. All right, I think we made it down to the engine room. This is cool. Wow. It's impressive. It is. All right, we've been uh, walking around for about an hour and a half, two hours, getting lost in this place, but check this out. It's like a virtual fighter pilot thing. $20, two riders, um, two rider minimum, no single riders. This could be fun or horrible. <laughs> You'll know if we're sick afterwards. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty excited to do this. <laughs> right? Look at them. Oh my. I have a feeling I'm going to be screaming like that. Well, you're driving, so we'll see. All right. After that uh, simulator, we needed some fresh air. Um, Rachel flew us upside down quite a bit and crashed a couple times. <laughs> Not the best pilot. Now, they did have some technical difficulties twice, so we just immediately crashed multiple times. So that was interesting. But um, there, I believe it's called the Embrace, right? I think it's called the Embrace. Yeah, we're going to have to get over there to see that. I wrote it down as Kissing Sailor Statue. <laughs> I believe you. But we, I might, I think we might be done. Oh man. Actually, if we can get up top, we should probably go do that. Okay. We're not done yet, apparently. Just when I thought we were 
headed towards being done. We made it up top. Oh man, this is cool. It's huge. I think doing the USS Midway is a must do in San Diego. I agree with you. This is actually a lot of fun. And we're not the most regular... Museum goers. Yeah. I would say it's like an interactive museum, which it is, is what I like. I'm not just reading stuff. You can actually get in the <gasps> spot. Get in a fighter jet? Heck what? yes. Yeah, this is too cool. If you have any interest in the military. Or not. Or not. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's cool anyway. They call me Maverick. If you're a Top Gun fan, uh, right here on our way to our next spot is where they filmed the scene where they do great balls of fire. They call it the sleazy bar scene. There you go, sleazy bar scene. All right, so we had asked our waiter earlier today where we should go for ceviche, and he said Karina's. So we're back in the gas lamp area. We're gonna see if we can grab some ceviche before the uh, concert. Yeah. That is a lot. All right. It's been a while since we've talked. So we should catch up. Yeah. So we ended up going to Karina's. We had to try some ceviche that was on our list. It was, was freaking so awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah, actually that place was great. Oh, the seafood enchiladas and yeah. even the steak tacos we had, so good. Yeah, I think the seafood enchiladas were the best. Mm -hmm. I agree, and then just followed very closely by that ceviche, the yeah. one with the mango in it. That yes. was so good. And then we went to a concert at Peco Park. It is hopping when you come out. Like it is, it's crazy. The gas lamp like, order is nuts down yes. here. Uh, but we are probably gonna head to bed. We do have to hit up uh, one more food item. It's gonna be the California burrito, and we already have a place picked out for it. Yeah. Then, we, I don't know. Who knows? Who does know? I will tell you too, we mentioned it earlier, but I'm gonna reiterate it. USS Midway is a must do. Yes, it was so much I don't, I don't want to say so much fun, but it was just, it was really cool to be a part of. It was cool, and it's a museum, and I don't do museums, yeah. and I it's didn't even notice museum. I was in a museum for two hours. Like, right. it was nuts. Could so. have easily spent more hours there, yeah. but we had stuff to do. We actually <laughs> went from feeling like we had little to do this afternoon to we didn't have enough time. Yep. It was but a lot of fun. we gotta go to bed, because we got more stuff to do tomorrow. Yeah. Later. Good morning. So, yeah, and so California burrito is what we're aiming for, which is carne asada, french fries, sour cream. Some have cheese, some have guac. Ooh. And so the, the best one we could find in walking distance, which is what we're aiming for, it's called Pokies. It's opening right about 9 o'clock here on Sunday morning. We're going to give it a whirl. I'm going to try that one out. With this being a 48-hour trip, um, our flight leaves at like 6.30 tonight, so we're aiming to be done sightseeing by 4 o'clock. We gotta be headed to the airport. So we'll see what we do afterwards because we will have checked off pretty much all of the food items we're aiming for. Yeah, I don't know that there's anything we're missing so far. Yeah, so we're gonna choose whatever we want after that. All right, so a lot of times I think people would probably cut out where <laughs> we showed up to a place that was closed. Yeah. But um, that's the reality. When you only have 48 hours, you can plan as best as you can. And the internet says they're open, the sign says they're open, but they're not. Instagram says they're open. I mean, like, right. we check every single detail when we try to go somewhere, just so we don't have that issue. Yeah, so... And it still happens. So we are pivoting, um, and it's actually a place that we were, I was interested in going to night one. Yeah. Because it has, like, almost 5,500 reviews on Yelp. So clearly, it's been around for a while. 
very popular, um, and so we're going to try to go to Werewolf next. <laughs> good, it says kitchen open, and we just saw people walk in. It's a good sign. I've been reading that the California burrito is actually San Diego's cure for the hangover. We don't have a hangover this morning, but I'll tell you, we're hungry, so yes. we'll eat it. Yes, and it's a little bit loud in here, so we might end up talking outside, but the drinks are great. Fantastic. Look at this pour for a mimosa. Like, that's a true wine glass there. That's and check amazing. out Bloody Mary. Yeah, it's very cool. And uh, I'm also getting the chilaquiles with pork belly and Listen tomatoes. Yeah, we just finished up over at Werewolf and we got a buzz on on Sunday morning. I'll tell you what, those freaking dragon fruit mimosas, healthy pour, amazing flavor. Yeah, it's oh. like they use syrup rather than juice, I'd it's say. So good. Um, and then I ended up having a beer after the Bloody Mary. Yeah. Both of them were very good. But the Food. winner, chilaquiles with pork belly and grilled tomatoes. Yes. <laughs> um, you know, the California burrito was good, but uh, Rachel pointed out. It's the same problem we have sometimes with a lot of burritos where the, the spread of the um, steak, fries, the toppings just it's, isn't the same. It's uneven. It's inconsistent. Yeah. Um, it was really good though. Very I mean, good. Who the heck doesn't like french fries, a good tortilla, some steak. Um, that was that was really good. But yeah, yeah. the chilaquiles, the bacon was great. Yeah, that chilaquiles was amazing. And I have to give a shout out to our wait, or our bartender, I guess she was, because I was giggling at the very first moment when I ordered the mimosa. She said, do you just want the whole bottle? And I was like, no. <laughs> and then... Maybe you should have. Yeah, just <laughs> now, I walked out and I was like, Josh, we should have just got the whole bottle. Yes. Like, it was that good. It was such a cool vibe. Met some really cool people as we were yes, sitting in there. Yes, big shout out to George from Alabama. Yeah. Awesome. We, we spent a lot of time just sitting there talking to him. But we got to check out our hotel, so we got to go pack leave our luggage at the bellhop and then we are hopefully gonna go to the beach all right so if you have ever done one of these 48 hour trips one of the best things you can do is leave your luggage at the door man i agree uh, we just did that and now we've got five hours to do whatever yeah. we want we don't have our luggage, we don't have our backpacks. Much easier, so let's grab another beer. Third craft brewing within walking distance of our hotel. Yep. Half Door Brewing Company. So far, I would say that was the coolest setting. I agree. I really brewery. liked it in the house with the old school vibe of yes. the house. Mm -hmm. uh, the bartender actually gave us a tip on one called the Church by Lost Abbey, but it is not open yet. So we're headed to Ocean Beach area, going to see what we can find over there. It's supposed to be some good place to eat and drink, and yeah. then maybe we'll find our way back over here. If not, the Church by Lost Abbey looks really cool. It's drinking in a church. <laughs> on a Sunday. That's, that's <laughs> that would be amazing. awesome. <laughs> yeah, but it could be cool. All right, well, we just got dropped off here at the brewery, but we can see that the I ocean- We see the ocean. Yeah, the ocean is like a block away. Yeah. So- Let's, let's go check that out first. <laughs> yes. I'm glad we decided to come here. I am too. We weren't really sure. I had I to mean, take it's... my flip flops off though, because I want to feel the sand in my toes. Yeah. We're just going to chill here for a little bit. Look at those waves crashing. Sure, when the weather is nice, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is beautiful. But yeah, it's a little chilly right now. You should get your feet wet. Ooh! <gasps> oh, <burn. laughs> and that's cold. <laughs> All right, so we picked Ocean Beach because it's about six miles from downtown, and it might actually be the easiest one to get to. Car ride was very simple. Um, we've got a brewery right here, 
and then we want to try Mike's Taco Club right there. So vicinity was great. We got to see the ocean. That's right. Stuck our feet in the water. It's cold. Super cold. Don't go swimming <laughs> in the ocean at, in March. <laughs> but uh, let's grab a beer. There's rooftop seating. So we're up on the third floor. Looking down the Newport. I believe it's Newport, which is the main street. I'm gonna have a couple of beers. All right, last meal in San Diego, it looks like. So I think you're probably right. We might hit one more brewery that I can think of. Yeah, but probably the last bit of food. Mm -hmm. um, and so I overdid it. He, he went berserk. I got the spot so we could have a place to sit. And yes. he went berserk. Steak taco, scallop taco, fish taco, carne asada fries, Cali burrito. You got a Cali burrito too? Yep. <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> All right, here we go. Check out this. This is this carne, carne asada fries. They look freaking amazing and it's gigantic. It's so big. That is a ton. That is... Something with avocado? No. That's gotta be a scallop. Oh God, the rain is coming. I was like, I'm gonna run to the car and get my jacket. Not anymore. It just started downpouring. So, scallop taco. Steak taco? Steak taco. I would assume this is the burrito. Cali burrito, which we know is steak, sour cream, cheese. French fries. French fries. And there's your fish taco. And this was all for 60 bucks with two beers <laughs> at the beach. In the rain. I bet it's gonna be good. In the rain. <laughs> all right, I'm making a call. I think that this is a better Kelly burrito than earlier today. The sauce is better, there's more meat. I was say, it looks more evenly distributed as well. Yeah, more evenly distributed. It's, there's a good moisture in it, like there's guacamole, some pico. <laughs> Something spicy. I like it. You, what are you thinking about this taco? That steak taco is fantastic. Great. It is so good. It's so full and big. I can't believe how big these portions are for the price. Yeah, and you can see uh, the rain kind of drew some people away. We are tightly in a corner here. <laughs> we are. Still doing somewhat okay. We have not made it to a carne asada fries yet. But food's good. And the price is great. Yeah, you should yeah. show these carne asada fries before I make them into a mess. Yeah, I showed them. They're huge. <laughs> They're huge. But yeah, I think that this place might go down as at the least best. from the looks of it, the best for carne asada fries and, and the Cali burrito. And Cali burrito. Now that steak taco was amazing as well. I know. And I really, really liked the fish taco. The scallop taco was a little bland for me, but otherwise it was very good. I agree. Yeah. I yeah, I thought the, the fish taco yesterday was better at Brigantine Social. But how about these versus carne asada fries night one? Oh. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay. That Josh was ordered us way too much yeah. food. <laughs> um, the winner was the Cali Burrito. Agreed. Hands down, so good. Uh, best bite. Definitely better than that one earlier today. And there is a child barking yes. like a dog. Yeah, there is a child barking. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> I can't even stop it. But like the price was great. And the asada fries, they should be shared with at least four people. At least. Holy God. So huge. But. Check this place out. It's, it's, it's really, really good. good food. All right, probably one last stop before the airport. Church is now open. One more drink. Just like that, our 48 hours here in San Diego have come to an end. We are back at the airport. Hopefully you've enjoyed coming along with us. We have ate and enjoyed some great craft beers and took in a couple sites as well. So we hope you enjoyed it. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X. All our links are down below. Thank you.